Right ball. No ball. <laughs> yeah. This is the log for Friday, January 21st, 2011, 12111. Yeah, I've been kind of like, I've been keeping up with the dates as much as I should have been because I was under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure considering what the hell happened to me. When I was in Florida, started as a bad, bad disappointment. That turned out into a real nice job as an account executive or an advertising agency. Got my new grandmama down there. Got me a friend, a couple friends. Hey, Mark. Hey, Gene. What's up, sugar love? <laughs> I'm going to be blasting your video. Bang! That's what I'm talking about. Well, are you guys with me here? Are you really with me? Mwah! Good boy, good girl. Now, <coughs> the last video I made, I made a sequel. It was a little bit too long, so it's going to have to stay for the book series, and no one will see it on YouTube until we edit it for the books. The books coming up. Deadlines coming up. Wow. Look at me and this good-looking guy. That's the governor. Isn't that nice? Manuscript is almost ready. But what I wanted you, my adoring friends out there, that I love so much, is we wanted to know what did the office of Congressman Gregory W. Minks did when the federal whistleblower brought him this? What did he know? When did he know it? What did he do about it? I'm sure you've heard of, heard of it by now. I sent it to the NAACP and a couple other people. We also want to ask the congressman, what about the longest running federal whistleblower case in his district, which is the housing whistleblower and the redlining scheme of the Bloomberg administration? See it? That's me with all them Obama buttons out during the campaign. Love you, Mr. President. All I know is, these are two serious cases. And these guys tried to make me out to be crazy. Ida Smith was supposed to have been my mama. But that's the road. Canadian geese. Woo! You guys pulled a number on me. You guys had the VA give me medication. Ida Smith, you violated the Privacy Act of 1974 and In New York State, it's the HIPAA law. You violated that, Ida Smith. Because you even told me, I'm the one testifying against you. You told me, you told the Thompson campaign I was bipolar unless I took my medication. Where you get a medical education from, girl? Woman, I mean. When I said you were just like my mother, I meant my biological mother. First thing you asking me, are you taking responsibility for this? Are you taking responsibility, Ida Smith? 
or is the congressman the guy to take responsibility? I think he's the one to take responsibility. Don't you think he's the one that should take responsibility? He's the boss. That's the guy that runs the show that makes the big dollars that gets on TV and say protest in front of my office. I came and brought the evidence inside your office. Pat me on my back, Trice, we love you. That was a tough man. <laughs> you was massaging you a spot that sticks up to stab you in the back. Why you think I did your video with the start off with the backstab? I did a campaign video campaigning for you, thinking you was the only one that was clean other than Huntley, Smith, New York State Senator Huntley, New York State Senator Malcolm Smith, Councilman Comrie, and Assemblywoman Vivian Cook. All their hands are dirty. I thought you were the only clean one, but man, did you hear? Uh, uh, Kim Fuller on, 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 on the video. You're not aware. <laughs> Congress. Damn. Let me show you what I got on you, man. Let me refresh your memory. I'm this guy, Ida Smith promised. If I could get it in the paper, I'd have a press conference. That's a lie. You all covered up this. You all covered this up. You all covered this up. And you a black guy, you a congressman on a federal facility, you covered this up. You should be put out of office. Ethics co Committee should be looking into you, man. There's a Republican uh, House now. Let's see if they're going to do something. Okay? This is not a joke. You guys ruined my life. Watch them take all my money. Everything I owned. And you got your Indian medicine woman, woman massaging me. Trying to get me to move and go to Tennessee. You, are, you guys obstructed justice. It's a born in perjury. The videotape I got of Ida. That's the morning perjury, man. When you're telling people to do things. <laughs> She's blaming her bosses. Wonder blow smoke up in me, did you? Hmm. Came to America as an immigrant. I still got a green card. And I'm getting freedom in America through Russians. You black folks in them political offices or to be ashamed of yourself because what you did to me you do to your own African Americans too and they ain't got what it takes to do what I'm doing to you right now I'm putting you on blast out in the street I'm putting all your business in the street I ain't got no violence I ain't got nothing but just wanting to laugh at you watch you exposed and looking bad looking bad watch you exposed and looking bad it's the only thing I got this is my only tool the only weapon I got have no other weapons. And y'all want to call the FBI and say there's nothing wrong with me. Something wrong with that story. It's got to be more than that story. Let me show you. Side by side. What did you know? When did you know it? And what you do about it, Congressman? Can you see it real good? One. Two. And that's you right back here. Right there between me and the attorney general. That's you. Three. Three strikes. You're out. I don't know what kind of damn kid of yours y'all think I am. You guys committed something that's very, 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 very bad. You guys at least committed a sin. But in proper English, it's called you, Congressman Meeks, New York State Senator Hunt, New York State Senator Malcolm Smith, Assemblywoman Vivian Cook, Councilman Conner. You too, Al Sharpton, I've been blasting you 
all this stuff for the longest. You guys committed heresy against American social doctrine living by a black law. You're wrong. And I'm the guy to tell it to you, and I'm going to take you to court, and I'm going to show you. I am not your son or your kid or any freaking body you ought to be playing with. You have your nice freaking day. January 21. 2011.